Hello, everybody. We are live on Facebook. We are live on YouTube. We are live everywhere. Today, I want to talk about BCAAs, Amino IQ, and AMRAP in particular. Now, I want to start this off with the age-old question. Is that what is the difference between BCAAs and protein powder? Well, here's the fun thing is that BCAAs are found in protein powder. And in fact, most protein powders have more BCAAs than the actual like product by itself. Now, BCAAs contain three of the nine essential amino acids. And essential amino acids are required because we can't produce them ourselves. So they must come from external sources as such the supplement. But BCAAs are found to be one of the best that get absorbed instantly into the muscle, which speed up muscle recovery. Now, BCAAs are also great because if you're on a strict caloric diet, then BCAAs don't have any calories. Now, if you've ever tried BCAAs on their own, they are absolutely nasty. So if you're going to get them, then AMRAP or amino IQs are the ones that I recommend. So you're probably asking yourself, BCAAs, and I've said this word a million times, is probably the way to go. Well, if you're taking other protein sources, that's the way to go because of the fact that you get the full complex of, amino, of, of BCAAs through or amino acids through protein supplement or through meat. And so if you're on a tight budget, then BCAAs are really just watery flavoring. That's kind of what I use them for, except amino IQ. And I'm going to get into that a little bit later. So the age old question is, I don't like supplements. Can I just eat more meat or eat more vegan substitutes to get my protein powder up. Well, yeah, yeah, sure you can. But how many of us are carrying around coolers with steak inside of them? Or how many of us are carrying around our little bags of tofu in our pockets? The nice thing about protein powder and supplements is that you can basically put them in a container and consume them when you're ready by just adding water. They're not gonna go bad. You don't need a freezer. You don't need a knife. You don't need a microwave. So the question is, should I have BCAAs or protein or when should I have them? Okay. So BCAAs, you could have prior, some people do it during, some people do it after. So it's just to speed up the recovery rate, but is it super necessary? Not really. Uh, when it comes to protein powder, like ideally, I, I like our clients, I like you to take at least two, two protein shakes a day. Generally our protein count is low and protein is one of those ones that kind of sit in between. And I don't really count the protein calories because it's really hard to get fat off consuming too much protein. You can get fat off eating too much fatty meat. You can get fat off eating lots of carbs. You can get fat off eating lots of sugar, but when it comes to actually just eating protein, like go sit down and try and get fat off, you know, 20 chicken breasts. You're just not going to do it right? And so protein is a slow absorption rate. It does a lot for helping your muscles grow and recover. And so, you know, that's why protein is, is important. Now, here's the question. Okay. Oh, and I had some, I had nice little slides. So like what's BCA? What's the difference between BCAs? BCAs are protein. Can I just eat meat? When should I consume them? And the last age old question is AMRAP or amino IQ. So AMRAP is specifically, so I'm going to go up here and show you what they look like. Move probably a little too fast for that. But AMRAP is specifically used for muscle recovery. It does help L-carnitine in it, which helps in using fat as fuel. But its primary use is either for phenomenal flavoring and muscle recovery, which causes muscle growth. Now, Amino IQ, I personally love Amino IQ. And honestly, it does more wake me up. It gives me more mental clarity and less brain fog than having a cup of coffee. I know a cup after a cup, good cup of coffee or an espresso, we feel awake, we feel alert, we feel great. But when you have this amino IQ, it actually has some ingredients in it that have been studied and they actually consider it a life hack thing. 
So like there's something called lion's mane, which is a, like a, a ground up mushroom. And the lion's mane has been, has been found to decrease brain fog, right? It's got DMAE, which helps you narrow in and focus. And it has a hundred and hundred milligrams. So about a half a cup of coffee that gives you that wake up buzz feeling like you would if you drank coffee. So you're not only getting the recovery option with the BCAAs in the amino IQ, but you're also getting rid of brain fog. You're also able to focus better and you're getting that wake up. So for me, I'll take it as a light pre-workout. So when I do pre-workouts, like the ones that we have like batch or the, um, or the, uh, the Kaizen ones, I, I get way too fired up. And then I have like a crazy crash to the point where I can't even open my eyes the next morning. I wish I could take more pre-workout, can't. So as a pre-workout, I will take amino IQ and I'll usually have about two or three scoops a day. When you guys see me and I'm coaching and then you see me like doing the virtuals in between, I'm stacked with meetings. A lot of like what I do is stationary. Okay. I sit and I do a lot of meetings. As you can see at the top of my screen, I've got a thousand tabs over it and I literally just close 10 of them. All right. And so I have a lot of things that, that I got going on in between. And so when I need that, wake me up and be able to focus, I take a scoop of amino IQ. My favorite flavor is the red, white, and boom. I've tried the fuzzy peach, not a big fuzzy peach guy, but it does taste like fuzzy peach. They have the banana pop one, which everybody loves. I'm not a banana guy, but honestly, amino IQ, I have one at the gym, one bottle at the gym. I have one bottle here. And then I have two bottles of the Amramp, the red, white, and boom, just sitting around so that when late at night, when I get hungry and I want something sweet, but I don't want to like it to affect my sleep. And I also don't want a bunch of food in my stomach so that I get fat while I sleep. Then I'll take a scoop of that, drink that. Here's the fix. So my recommendation, very strong recommendation is for you to get amino IQ, have it midday or use it as a pre-workout in conjunction with your leaner or whatever else that you're taking. And the benefit of amino IQ, so I've brought in other BCAAs and water enhancements. So that's another thing that people are, they're looking at these water enhancements. And I don't know, they just put electrolytes in them, guys. It, there's no real big kicker to it. And they're pretty expensive. So there's not really much that it does for your body as a whole outside of making you drink more water that's super flavored with usually aspartame or sucralose or, you know, all these artificial sweeteners. This amino IQ is stevia based. And if you know what stevia is, it's a plant. Okay. And it literally looks like this. Okay. Right. Remember it grows from the ground. It's not an artificial substance. It's a plant. The leaf comes off it. They cut the leaf, they grind it up. They put it into rolling pit. No, I'm just kidding. They, uh, you know, that's, that's what they do. They, that it's, it's a hundred percent plant-based. So the amino IQ if you want to place an order, let us know. But otherwise, Amino IQ is the way to go. I'm Coach RJ, your fitness coach, and I'll see you on the blue.